It's one thing to always do things right, to do things the best way possible, based on theory and all that. But now, if you're not gonna be yourself, then it's a problem. Now, you have to understand that there is a point where you get to be in an, an uncomfortable situation, where a situation makes you uncomfortable. It's understandable, it happens. Sometimes you get to be challenged to a point where you are not comfortable. But obviously it's a situation that passes. But not being yourself, it's another story. So, I mean, let's take a very silly example. A very silly example. Imagine coming from wherever, whether you went to work, a function or a party or something like that. When you get home, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to take off those heels and free your legs. You want to take off that bra and just free yourself and relax. So now imagine that type of freedom in your life. The freedom of just being true to yourself, being real and not being apologetic for who you are. Being free to just love your natural scruffy hair. Loving your face without makeup. Loving yourself as you are and appreciating what God has created. Appreciating that, you know what, there are times where you get breakouts and it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. You need to free yourself from expecting the world to treat you in a certain way. Because the truth is, you are you. And there's no one who's going to be like you. 
Yes, there are other things in this world. You can be many things. But if you cannot be yourself, and if you cannot free yourself from those inner thoughts of negativity, of fear, then you have another thing coming. Just free yourself. Be you. Be yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Be yourself. Be free.